At my bookie, it's winning season, which means NFL football is back and it's time to take advantage of all of the action. Free bets, super contests, survivor streaks, and deposit matches, all for those who dare to put their money where their mouth is. If you sign up with my bookie right now, they will match your deposits dollar for dollar. Every cent up to $1,000 gets put right back into your account. Just make sure that you use my code Holly to claim the special bonus. Winning season is here, and it's only at my bookie. Uh, I had um, sex nerd Sandra on, Sandra on, and we were talking about you, and we were talking about um, orgasms, and we were talking about how like I've never had like a internal like stimulate like orgasm from penetration, like I've only had like clitoral stimulation, and I think we were talking about different <laughs> kinds of orgasms and what actually you could what could be identified as an orgasm. And, and, and she was talking about how like maybe our general idea of what an orgasm is, maybe there are other like smaller orgasms that you could have. Well, certainly the big orgasms is, is the pelvic floor contractions right. and, and, and things. And that's what I identify as orgasm. Mm-hmm. Um, I tried for years to become multi-orgasmic because mm-hmm. women can be multi-orgasmic. Yeah. So they said. And so I felt bad for years. I said, well, am I not relaxed enough? I'm not embracing my pleasure. Mm-hmm. I'm not entering my space, taking my things. Mm-hmm. You know, why, why, why can't I come become? So I did a lot of digi- diligent masturbation practice mm. at, you know, trying to become more orgasmic. I did notice that my moment of pleasure got bigger and longer. And used to, my first, my first, Couple years of orgasms. The orgasms were not pleasurable. Mm-hmm. They were events. Oh, mm. pulse, pulse, pulse. That must be an orgasm. But it wasn't fun. It wasn't. It was just work. Mm-hmm. So it took me a long time to relax into pleasure and just really stay with it. Mm-hmm. And so my orgasm. So that moment of inevitability and then orgasm used to be a, a millisecond between it's going to happen and happening. And then I could. Oh, it's going to happen. Then I over years I learned how to make that last as long as I want. But so still, your orgasms but, themselves last longer. My one. Okay. I still only have one. And, and once I've had an orgasm, my vulva is done. Thank you very much. Same. I'm like, like I get oversensitive. Yes, yeah, like, like don't, don't, touch don't, me. don't even. I'll, yeah. My hands, my mouth, still available. I'll spank you. I'll help it. Uh, we're done here. Yeah. So I, so same. I have, I'm like a dude. I have one orgasm. And for me, once I come, I'm pretty much done. I'm, yeah. And in terms of and how much energy it takes. In terms of my vulva saying, I need once a week is fine. Yeah. And I have friends who masturbate two or three times a day. It's like, I don't even know what it's like to have sensations coming from my vulva that do that. It's like, yeah. what, 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 what yeah. is that? What, what is that? What, what, what I would like to know what that might be like. Mm-hmm. So in my next life, I'd like to experience several things. What's it like to be monosexual? Mm. Meaning only attracted to one gender. Because I'm just like, everybody over 18 is like interesting to me. <laughs> so that, so there's that. So what's it like to be only gay or only straight? Mm-hmm. Huh. What's it like to be monogamous? Mm-hmm. I just don't, I have absolutely no, it's strictly intellectual practice for me. Mm-hmm. Because I've never, ever had yeah, I never dreamt of him. I always dreamt of them. I never, always them, never him. Mm-hmm. And then, what's it like to be able to have orgasms from vaginal intercourse? Mm. And I yeah. know, I know of people who can do it. It's like, wow, how did that fuck? Yeah. And so it's not, it's not fake. It's not something that men fantasize about. Some, but orgasms are a physiological response mediated by the brain. So it's like a sneeze. So I need a lot of pepper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Other people don't need hardly any pepper. Bing, yeah. ping, ping. Yeah. And I, my ex girlfriend, she could come every five minutes for as long as you fucked her. Yeah, I mean, so like, get like, the like, like, here's an ex- great example: kiss of sins, like multiple orgasms to the point where, like, when we shoot, like, I remember when I shot her and a boy girl with Johnny Sin. She's like, "Can we do all the standing positions first? Because I orgasm so much that my knees are going to give out. That's adorable. So I need to do the standing stuff first because I'll be too weak towards the end of the scene I, to be able to stand because I would have come so much. I'm like, I am so jealous of you. What? What is that? So. I, so in any combination, <clears throat> monosexual, monogamous, and vaginal orgasm. This has got to, this is, what's that like? My sister is all those things. Mm-hmm. And, and she likes sex just fine. But it's like, mm-hmm. but I, and yeah. she'll, Will, she and I are talking, and we'll go, we're related? She read my book. It's like, my sister knows this stuff. Yeah. Because <laughs> she's never, you know, she's a serial monogamist. Yeah. Right? Because she's someone, when she's in love, she doesn't want, and, and K- K- Ginger, when she's in love, she doesn't want anybody else. Mm-hmm. Candy Doreal, when she was in love, she only wanted one man. It's like, wow, does that work? Yeah. I don't know. Now, there are people who, when they're in love, they may want other people, but they realize that my agreement is monogamy, and mm-hmm. I'm not going to be a, a deal breaker. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be that person. Right. So 
there's 20% of people who are naturally monogamous. It's never, it's not a ball and chain. It's, it's fabulous. They love it. It's great. It's fully satisfying. Mm-hmm. And then 20% of people like Ernest and me, fully mm-hmm. non-monogamous, but also deeply bonded as a partner, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And then 60% of people are struggling with where, how do I best manifest my sexual expression mm-hmm. in a way that doesn't hurt anybody, fits my value. Mm-hmm. And then we can't all get everything we want. Mm-hmm. And that's just mating. That's just, you know, once you partner with someone, you do start other, other doors start closing. Mm-hmm. And how you feel about those doors closing means a lot. Is it mm-hmm. okay that they're closing or if you're, are you frantic that they're closing? Right. If you're frantic that they're closing, maybe you're not with the right partner. Mm-hmm. Um, because when you start growing together, start really braiding your lives together, mm-hmm. things get pruned. Yeah. And, and, you, and, and things, so back, you know, 10 years ago, things I really, really wanted. It's like, I, I, if they came around now, I probably could easily say no. Yeah, and so how badly do, do I want a thing badly because I want it, or am I manifesting other distress and it's and it's manifesting like this desire? Mm-hmm. So what's what, so, so I want X. What's underneath the want? Is it something mm. that can be satisfied elsewhere without you breaking your bound bond, your your vows? Right, right. You right. know, um, and something, and we don't get everything. We don't get everything we want. Yeah. Well, relationships are about compromise, right? But what you compromise on that that's different. important because so, you got to recognize yeah. what what you can and what you can't. Being uh, my Fingers touching my nose and pointing at her. Yes, exactly. So for me, I was never going to compromise again on on jealousy and possessiveness. Mm-hmm. Nope, nope. That's a hundred percent. Nope, nope. I don't care how good you are, rich you are, how beautiful your cock is. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, yeah. So Ernest and I, we are fully on board on the important things, and the other things are up for negotiation. Mm-hmm. And certain things I don't want anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm fifty nine. I'm not thirty five anymore. Mm-hmm. I just, I just, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but when it comes to sex, for me. Every time I get to touch genitals, it's like, really? For me? (laughs) At my bookie, it's winning season, which means NFL football is back and it's time to take advantage of all of the action. With my bookie, you can choose from thousands of bets on your favorite sports like MLB, NFL, and NBA, as well as odds on your favorite teams and players. If you sign up with my bookie right now, they will match your deposits dollar for dollar. Just make sure that you use my code Holly to claim the special bonus. Winning season is here, and it's only at my bookie. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.